Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another one of our daily devotions here on this Monday of the fifth week of Easter. Uh, It's hard to believe that much time has gone by. And like I mentioned in the sermon yesterday, it's hard to believe that all of this time has gone by. Yesterday was the eighth Sunday uh, in a row that we have not been able to be together in person for worship. And uh, the rest of the pastoral staff and I continue to pray that uh, you are doing well and that uh, you're being safe during this time. And we're looking forward to hopefully uh, being able to be back in person uh, sooner rather than later. And today we've got uh, some good texts out of the the treasury of daily prayer that bring us some some comfort today. Uh, Just a short part of uh, Psalm 31 that starts us off that really fits with our, our experience. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. And for my name's sake, you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. It's always good for us to remember that God is our rock and our refuge and our strength. And uh, those first five verses of Psalm 31 do a really nice job of reminding us that. Today our reading is from Luke's Gospel, from the 12th chapter. Um, And our writing today is going to be from Martin Luther again. In the meantime, when so many thousands of the people had gathered together, they were trampling one another. He began to say to the disciples first, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after have nothing more they can do. For I will warn you whom to fear, Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than the sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before synagogues and rulers and authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you shall say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Again, our writing for today comes from uh, Martin Luther and some of his writings. He says, Let us be calmly confident in this cause, which has to do with God's word. Christ, whose cause it will be, or co- Christ, whose cause it is, will staunchly defend and uphold it against the cunning of vile, the vile devil and tyranny of the wicked and deceitful world. For those who confess him before this evil and adulterous generation and must suffer much thereby, Christ in turn will confess them before his heavenly Father and requite them for their suffering with delights of eternity. God himself says in 1 Samuel 2, He who honors me, I will honor. Even if the waves of the sea are strong and huge billows rise up and roar furiously, as though they would drown us, the Lord is still on high and has begun a kingdom as wide as the world, which he now rules and has decreed that it shall endure. He is greater, yes, almighty, and he will accomplish it. Amen. Therefore, the only thing necessary for us to do is to believe and pray most confidently in Christ's name that God will give us strength, since he has erected his kingdom, and this is his doing. It is he who, without our help, counsel, thought, or effort, has brought his kingdom forth and has advanced and preserved it until this day. I have no doubt that he will consummate it without our advice or our assistance, because I know in whom I believe, says St. Paul in 2 Timothy. I am certain that he will grant far more, and do more abundantly, and help and counsel us beyond all that we ask or think. He is called the Lord, who can and will help in a wonderful, glorious, and mighty way, particularly when the need is greatest. We are meant to be human beings, not divine. So let us take comfort in his word, 
and trusting his promises, call upon him confidently for deliverance in the time of distress, and he will help. And isn't that true, brothers and sisters in Christ? We must often be reminded of this fact that God is Lord over everything and he will guard us and protect us and defend us. And as Luther says there, take comfort in his word, trust his promise, call upon him confidently for deliverance in time of distress and he will help. That's true today as it was in Luther's time and as it was in the time that Jesus walked on the earth. And so take that same encouragement from Luther today. Call upon God in your time of distress and trust him that he will deliver you. Our hymn today, hymn verses, are hymn verses 3 and 4 from Lutheran Service Book 455, The Royal Banners Forward Go. Fulfilled is all that David told in sure prophetic song of old, that God the nation's king should be and reign in triumph from the tree. On whose hard arms so widely flung, the weight of this world's ransom hung, the price of humankind to pay, and spoil the spoiler of his prey. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, by your Spirit, you give us faith to cast out all fear of confessing the true faith. For we are helpless to save ourselves, and we must trust in you and you alone for our salvation. Keep us faithful to the end, that you will not be ashamed of us when you come into your glory with your Father and the holy angels. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you always and continue living in his peace and joy. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon.